Hey guys, so I'm back today with my January favorites. And yes, I did get some side bangs, um, but they are not behaving today. So I have them split. Whereas if you saw my post on Instagram and Facebook, you know that they were originally all swept to one side, but bangs will be bangs. Um, so I'm gonna be sharing everything that I loved from the past month of January, a bunch of new drugstore makeup, new higher, I guess, higher end makeup and some fun gadgets. And I'm gonna go ahead today and start with lip products because I don't normally do that and live on the edge people. So first this fabulous Maybelline Color Sensational Lipstick. This is from their new collection Rebel in Bloom. And I picked up the shade Lilac Flush and it is the perfect purpley pinky color for spring. I'm really into, I don't know if you notice my nails, I'm really into everything lilac, kind of like pinky purple. I, th I think basically all my makeup for this coming spring is going to be this shade. Um, you guys remember like quite a few years back I went coral crazy? Well this year it's lilac crazy, okay? So this is lilac flush. Let me zoom in on it. Ooh, look how pretty it is. So this is the color. You can see it is kind of like a cool toned purpley pink. Um, but somehow, even though cool tones like this don't normally work on my lips, this one works. And you can see it's really super purdy. I love it. So loving this color. I think it's really unique. Definitely recommend picking it up if you see it at the drugstore. Next favorite lippy is also from the drugstore. This one is from Milani. It is from their new matte collection. I'm guessing that matte lips are going to be super in for the spring 2015 um, because basically every collection that I've received so far this year has all matte lipsticks. Um, so definitely thinking that that's going to be a trend. My favorite from the new Milani matte lipsticks is the color 62. This is the matte blissful. I have another pinky purple, but this one is bordering more on a mauve. So this is what Milani's matte lipstick in the color blissful looks like. You can see this one's way more pink toned than the last lipstick that I showed you, but it does have a cool purple undertone. So it does border more on like a mauve. You can probably see better on the, um, little color swatchy thing here on the bottom. Um, but just a really gorgeous color. This is the color that I am wearing on my lips today. So if you like it, this is what it looks like. So my next lipstick favorite from the past month is from Urban Decay. It is from their Sheer Revolution lipstick line, which is new. Um, this is the shade Sheer Streak. And can we just comment on the packaging really quickly? Because it is a beautiful metallic purple, which I absolutely love really sleek and pretty. The color of the lipstick is a sheer coral. Sheer streak looks like this. You can see it's a really nice coral. Not too bright and not too muted. So I think that this would be flattering on a lot of different skin tones, which is great. That is the Sheer Revolution. And I am really digging the formulation of these Urban Decay Sheer Revolution lipsticks. Really nice and sheer, obviously, but also super moisturizing. They do have really great pigmentation, I think, for being sheer. Um, they just give you a really natural look to your lips, and your lips are going to look glossy and moisturized, which is fabulous. So big, big fan of these. And Urban Decay did send me all of these. So if you guys are interested in like a swatch fest or a further review on the Sheer Revolution lipsticks, just let me know. Next up is a drugstore lipstick. This is from Jordana. And again with the matte trend because these are the new modern matte lipsticks. And my favorite shade from that collection is their Matte Dare. And this one is a darker, more plum orchid type purple. So that is what the Jordana Matte Dare looks like. And I know it looks a little bit intimidating, but I promise on the lips, it's really gorgeous. These are so pigmented. That's a swatch, and that's a really light swatch, by the way. So that is the Jordana Matte Lipstick. And for a matte lipstick, it's actually really creamy, which I like. You know, sometimes they can go on your lips and look just cakey and dry, and that's never a good look. These ones, really, really nice and creamy, so I love that. My final lip product is from Tony Moly, and I ordered this on Bonjour HK, which is a Korean, like, Asian cosmetics distributor. Um, so this is their Kiss Lover Lip Master Lipstick, and it's in the shade Devil Pink. So it looks like this. Let me show you guys. And this is what the doe foot applicator looks like. And this color is kind of like a peachy coral as well. 
And this stuff's really cool. It's kind of hard to explain because it's like a liquid lipstick. So there's a swatch of it there on the bottom. You can see it's super, super glossy. So moving on to blushes, another Korean cosmetic, and I have been obsessed with this and I'm actually wearing it today. It is from the brand Skin Food, which I have used their BB creams in the past and really enjoyed them. This is their Rose Essence Soft Cream Blusher. Really, really beautiful color. When I first opened it up, I was like, oh lord, this is going to be way too light for my skin. Um, because I'm like bordering on a medium almost, like a light medium. Uh, and this is a really kind of like peachy, light baby pink. Uh, but I'll show you up close. When you put it on your cheeks, it's actually really pigmented. So this is what it looks like. You can see it's just a really creamy, kind of glossy, light, light baby pink. This is, I would say, one of the best cream blushes I think I've ever tried. Um, and I say that because not only is it super pigmented, um, and it just gives you that really nice, natural, almost luminescent glow. You can see it on my cheeks, how it's a natural shade, but it still gives you illuminating properties, so it's going to make you look a little bit dewy. So really great for mature skin. And then the other reason it's my favorite is because it applied so well. It blends out seamlessly, and my skin right now is fairly dry, obviously, because it's winter, and it is dry up in this house. And then my other blush favorite is from the drugstore. It is the new powder blush from Milani in the color Tea Rose. Um, and these are the gorgeous blushes that look like roses. Oh my god, I can't get over how pretty these are. It's just a really gorgeous rosy pink, a really natural color. Um, so I've been wearing this one a ton as well. The palette that I've been using a ton this month is the new um, Tartlet palette from Tarte. And how cute is this packaging? This is for their anniversary. Um, so it's all gold and blingy and beautiful. And this is what oh, the Tartlet palette looks like inside. How pretty is that? I'm probably going to use this a ton this spring because, like I told you guys, I'm really into all of the mauve lilac-y purple tones, and this palette has a ton of those. Uh, then I have two favorite nail polishes, and both of them are Milani Nail Lacquers. And, uh, it's purple. It is in the shade Imperial Purple. It's a really pretty, um, more pinky toned, I would say, lavender. And it looks like this. It's really gorgeous. The thing I love about Milani polishes is that I only ever need one coat, and a top coat isn't even always necessary because they're super glossy, and they pretty much stay put. Um, so loving the Imperial Purple. And then a new one that I got is the Milani Fierce Foil Nail Lacquer in Sardina. This is from their new Fierce Foil collection, and it is really glittery and amazing. Okay, so because we're going backwards now, I'm going to share my favorite foundations from the past month. Of course, my IT Cosmetics CC Cream, I had to include it, even though I just talked about this in my Best of Beauty 2014 video. This is basically all I was using for the entire first half of the month because I love it. I am in the shade Light. And a newer foundation that I've been trying out for about the last week and a half is from Jordana. It is their Complete Cover 2-in-1 Concealer and Foundation. Um, now this says it is maximum coverage. I think it's more like a medium coverage. Uh, but it is really nice and I actually think it compares to the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. The formulation kind of has the same like moisturizing, dewy feel to it um, and the same luminescent look. Not as great of coverage as this. Uh, but I would say it's a really close second. So, so far, really impressed with this foundation. If you guys are interested in a more in-depth tutorial review on this, just let me know. I can show you guys. And then my final foundation, also a CC cream. This is from Yume, another uh, Korean cosmetic brand. This is their Flawless Perfect Complexion CC Cream. This stuff blew me away because when you first kind of like dispense it onto your hand, it looks super pearly white. Like I was like, oh, this is not going to work for my skin color. And then it changes. It like adapts to your skin tone. Um, and then I noticed it says magic color change. So that makes more sense. And oh my god, my hand is so stained from all those lippies. But anyways, so you just pump some of it out. And do you see how it's really like bright white, super like sparkly and iridescent right now? And then we blend it and it's literally just gonna like morph into my hand and totally blend in. It's so freaking amazing. I wish you guys could see in person because when you're here in person you can actually see that it starts to change into like a skin tone color. It's not white anymore, it's like foundation-y. 
so moisturizing. You can see like my hand just looks dewy and glowy and beautimous. It's amazing. I was seriously so impressed with it. Um, this is also from Bonjour HK. I'll put the link to their website down below, but they have a ton of really fabulous Korean cosmetics and you guys know that is my thing. I love, love, love Asia makeup. So again, this is the Yume Flawless CC Cream. Too good for words. Love it. So as far as skincare, you guys know I've been using the B Enigma Daily Moisturizing Cream um, every other day because it's very, very rich and super expensive. Um, and then on the every other day, I've been using the Proactive Plus Green Tea Moisturizer. And this stuff is really, really good. It kind of gives my face a break from like a heavier luxury cream um, because it is a gel consistency and so it's not going to like clog up your pores or feel super heavy on the face or anything like that. Um, but it's oil free so it's also not going to break me out so I absolutely love this my husband also uses this really good moisturizer and then my last skincare favorite is from Colleen Rothschild this is her clarifying detox mask and it is a charcoal mask these always work for my face it like sucks all of the impurities and nastiness out it's thick kind of like putty like gray face mask but it is so nice you guys a really pampering treatment I just slather it all up on my face, nice and thick, and then you let it dry, and then when you wash it off, your face feels literally so soft. It's ridiculous. And then I have a really fun little gadget favorite for you guys, and it is the Mini Suit Selfie Stick. Look at it. And it has upped my selfie game, okay? This is life-changing for me especially because number one, okay, I take a lot of selfies. Now, I'm really not that bad, especially compared to other girls on Instagram, let's be honest. Um, and number two, my phone, because I don't have an iPhone, I have an Android, it's the Motorola Razer Max, something like that. Anyways, when you hold your phone out, like as far as my arm can stretch, and I have really long arms, my, it's still like so blown up. Like you would literally have to have two arms to get far enough away from your face to take a selfie without like chopping off half of like your forehead or something. Um, so I can never get far enough away to take a proper selfie, which is where the selfie stick comes in. And literally your phone clamps in there so securely. And this little orange gadget here holds it in so that it doesn't like fling out mid selfie. You can extend the stick like as long as you need to go. Like it goes really far. Um, and then you just connect it via Bluetooth and it has a button right here where you press to take a picture. Literally, it is so freaking cool. Yep, there it is. Look how cute I is. This is really great if you are a frequent Instagram user and also for like group parties and stuff like that. Now I can get a shot of my whole family. I will just stick my selfie stick out and the whole family can smile. Yes, I do believe that is it. So thank you all so much for watching. I have a ton more videos coming, y'all. I am all my game this year. So be sure to subscribe. Also, before I leave, I don't know if any of you noticed, but I have a Bath & Body Works candle burning back there. The first time I've ever done that on my channel. That's the first time. And it's even sitting amongst my Ikea Alex shelving. So, yes, I'm like a true YouTuber now. This is my first legit YouTube video.